Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to loop your offers in between some certain trades or some certain rarities. It's actually extremely useful and you will see in a second why. So I'm just going to add two collections here. One of them is going to be the Ninja Muffers and one of them is going to be the Muffers. So with Ninja Muffers there is a special trade that makes the NFTs sell for a lot higher than the floor price. The floor price is quite low at, as you see at the moment. However, the special trade which is deep alpha is still very expensive this one was last sold for one ethereum and i think if you sell them now they are even going to go for higher so what happens is uh, i want the system to only bid on that special trade which is deep alpha for this collection and then i want the system to also bid on muffers but i also only want it to uh, offer rankings one to five these are inclusive by the way so for this one since it is a uh, trade based i'm not touching anything regarding the token ids however for this one if you want to do it from scratch you will have to switch from token id to ranking and enter the desired rankings here you can uh, add up to three collections in one tab however uh, you can open more tabs and run them simultaneously anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let me clear the existing uh, sign requests here i'm going to demonstrate it with the clicker right now uh, you can also use the private key method if you use the private key method the system is just going to work on the background let's submit bits <clears throat> uh, i will set my clicker in meanwhile uh, what you do is when the system pops up like that it's actually pretty straightforward uh, you click on this one and then that one and then you just keep it running so what I expect the system to do is the system is going to order uh, the four NFTs, which has the deep alpha trade on Ninja Muffers. And then it is going to actually, it's not and then it's simultaneously. Simultaneously, it is going to offer the first five rankings of the uh, Muffers, the original Muffers. Uh, the system is closing it. So the actual clicker is closing it. So let me just put it down uh and see what the system has been doing right now it has made six offers you as you see it is completing this loop the first loop let's go ahead and run it again maybe put it over here so you guys can see and once the process is done it is going to reset itself and it's going to keep on looping one thing our uh, users ask is actually the system with private key method is quite fast it is it's really fast so what our users wanted us to add is they wanted to make bits to go slower. Uh, I'm just going to show it in a second. If you turn toggle off the fast bit button, you can actually adjust the speed of the bits that the system is making. So actually we completed the first loop. I will let the system complete the second loop as well. And I'm going to go ahead to my OpenSea profile and see my bits. As you see, uh, you know what, let's refresh it. Maybe OpenSea hasn't refreshed itself just yet. Uh, yeah. So these are the trades that I was after. And these are the first rankings of Muffers. These are the special ones. As you see, the system has been looping uh, and working as intended uh, on these special NFTs. These are the two reasons you might want to use it. There might be other reasons, uh, reasons why you would like to use the loop. Uh, maybe you just want to keep it open and let the system run uh, regardless of ranking or regardless of token ID, regardless of trade. Uh, it's actually quite, uh, I mean, it's, it's up to you. I'm just going to demonstrate how it would work. Uh, sorry, how it would work with the private key method. It is a lot more straightforward and it is faster with the private key methods. What I have to do is I'm going to uh, export my private key. This is only for founders, by the way. Uh, we have sold out the founders NFT. It is only available on the second hand market on OpenSea. Uh, so I'm going to turn on the private key method. Then I'm going to submit my bits. And if you choose this method, you can actually use your computer because the, otherwise the clicker is actually taking over your computer. It has to uh, make the clicks. Right now, as you see, it is quite faster and it is just continuous to sending the bits, resetting itself and then start, it starts sending bits again. 
Uh, there is, I don't know if you, if anyone in, is interested, but there is, uh, we added an option in order to make the bits slower, which I'm going to show you right now. Let me actually uh, stop the bits. Uh, we can check my OpenSea profile again. Here you go. Uh, so let me show you how to make them slower if you wanted to. Uh, if you toggle this off, then you can actually limit your speed. If you uh, write 10 here, the system is going to make bits with an internal cooldown of 10 seconds. So it's going to make one bit every 10 seconds. Uh, this is this was a request from our members. Uh, actually, I can go ahead and show you how the competitive works with the combination of loop and the other features, but I think this is enough for this video. Uh, by the way, if you guys are free users, we give you 300 daily limits uh, to test the system, except the private key method. Uh, however, if you complete the whitelist steps in our Discord, which is quite uh, straightforward, we double the free, uh, double the limit of free usage for you guys. So it's up to you for if you don't want to do the whitelist steps, it's 300 per day, you can go ahead and test the system. It is 600 per day if you want to complete the whitelist steps here. And uh, I would suggest you join the Discord. Uh, it is uh, there is a lot of information flow going on here. You can uh, check the profit sharing and see how people are doing. Uh, both are uh, paid members and uh, free users of free, the free, free version. Uh, I think you guys will like it. Just go ahead, come say hi. We can discuss uh, on NFTs or on, on other stuff. Uh, have a good one. Happy trades, happy flips.